We recently received an update from 343 on the current status of Halo 2 Anniversary's flighting, possibly coming very, very soon, and an update on the current situation in the US and how it's affecting development of Halo MCC and Halo Infinite. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel a lot guys to help keep the community updated with everything going on with this awesome franchise. So let's get right into the content here. As we do on about every Friday, Postums goes on the Halo Waypoint, gives us an update of what's going on with the MCC, as there's a lot going on. As we do know, they're currently in development of Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary to bring it to the PC. But first, they need to do some flighting on that. And the recent update on this goes into a little bit of detail from Postums, talking about how they're moving along with the project. Now, this upcoming flight is going to feature a lot of content in it. We have original Halo 2. We have Halo 2 Anniversary, we have Halo Reach, possible audio fixes, and possible CE bug fixes as well. Most likely, hopefully the bolt spread issue with unlimited frames as the team has spotted the issue. They're just looking for ways to kind of resolve it right now. And then of course, they're going to have to flight that for before it goes live when that's what us Halo Insiders are meant here to do. Postum states in this little update here stating they're looking to start an internal flight build testing sometime next week. And from our experience of when they start doing flight testing on the internal side of things at ring zero is what they call it, then you can kind of expect to have a public flighting for ring three us halo insiders within about a week or two of that flight happening now a lot of heavy lifting has been done with the halo 2 because they the one that you're playing on MCC right now for Halo 2 is actually Halo 2 Vista, which was created on PC. But I believe it was re released in 2007, and so they have to update that one. Obviously, Halo 2 Anniversary might be a bit tricky, but since it has a lot of internal coding from 343, it's built off of Halo 4's engine. Uh, they have a lot more control, I'm sure, over how the audio and how the gameplay is kind of fixed up to make it suitable for PC play. 343 is still trying to get a public flight available towards the end of March. Now, this is a preliminary kind of date. If everything goes well, there are no major issues found within the flighting processes on the internal side of things. We could probably see some Halo 2 anniversary flighting at the end of March. Though last time they said that was back in January when they said about CE, that got delayed about a week or two to fix out some bugs and then it was released. And though CEA did have its own issues, especially like the unlimited uh, frame issue with the bullet spray, which certainly is something that needed to be fixed, I think, before released, but that's just my opinion on that one. I'm thinking that after the feedback of what they've received after the release of CEA, they'll probably take a little bit more time to make sure that uh, Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary play as they should on PC. And the team also mentions about how the current situation in the US is affecting development in a way as everyone from 343 is working from home right now. Microsoft implemented this work from home initiative two weeks ago, actually. Uh, I work as a contractor through Microsoft and so we had to follow those rules as well. And you can tell that, um, you know, it. For the digital side of things, it can be slower when it comes to turnaround on certain things, especially when it comes to communication. Though a lot of times, a lot of these devs already have like their code that they need to sit down and work on it. And they can also just kind of send it off to the team to kind of implement it in together. Um, so there are ways around this. Uh, it could maybe slow down a little bit, but not a whole lot to where you might be thinking about how it could even delay the release of these games. I mean, I've been seeing posts online on like Twitter and on websites and even some YouTube videos talking about how this uh, current virus situation could delay Halo Infinite and the Xbox Series X. Um, but I don't see any delay possible happening. I mean, we've seen from, uh, I know from Larry uh, Nelson, uh, Major Nelson, I should say, about how they're still planning to do a fall 2020 release for the xbox series x i would not expect that the date to change anytime soon but unishek on 
Halo Waypoint does give us a little bit of reassurance of what the process and how things are going along with there as they have you know some new obstacles that they're looking to take on but it looks like they've been kind of keeping track of where they need to be right now on the MCC and on Halo Infinite right now so at the moment development is looking pretty good even though everyone's working from home so that's excellent to hear from the team to know that kind of very reassuring experience that you know we don't have to worry about either one of these games being delayed or extended out to possibly 2021 so yeah guys to recap the video we're looking for possible halo 2 flighting along at the end of march at the moment right now that's going to contain halo 2 halo 2 anniversary reach audio fixes and various ce bug fixes as well within this flight this might be one of the most jam-packed content flights we've ever had and i guarantee you guys if i get invited which i've been consistently have been getting invited i will make sure to make videos for you guys to keep you up to date to know what these flights are like how they're playing i'll definitely do some live streams which you can find the link in the description down below to my twitch if you want to check out live streams there we go live every tuesday and thursday night at 9 p.m pacific standard time and even though with the current virus situation it has probably slowed down production a little bit but not halting it to where they're missing dead deadlines the MCC and Halo Infinite are keeping on track or where they need to be at the moment. So that's reassuring to hear. So yeah, that's everything we got to talk about right now when it comes to Halo, guys. If you missed any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now as it shows some videos of the past I've made to keep you guys up to date if you missed anything the last couple of weeks. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.